Hey guys, welcome back and today we'll be using some eyeshadows from Juvia's Place and right now I'll be using this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow primer. Um, I really like it because it's smooth on the eyes and it melts pretty easily. I'm going to take this yellow shade from Juvia's and I'm going to use this as my transition shade and I'm going to be showing you uh, the names. Then I'm going to go into this orange and this is Juvia's Zulu palette. Um, so the yellow shade is called, Z the, it's fr they're both from the Zulu palette, sorry. And so I'm using now the orange shade um, under the yellow shade that I previously used. And I'm going to do that on both eyes and Juvia's place is really, really pigmented if you have never used them before. And they're pretty, pretty affordable. I'm going to take my P. Louise base in Ruma number no. 4 eyeshadow base and you just need very little of this and I'm going to be putting this on my eyelids because I want the shadow to pop and I think this is a matte look that I'll be doing right now so I'm just applying this and trying to smoothen it so I'm going to take this shade and this is called Z Zora and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid as you can see and I'm using a flat brush and I'm trying to really smooth this all over the place and this is a Colourpop flat brush and I'm gonna do the same on the same um, I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and really trying to mesh those two together here with a stiff brush because the eyeshadow primer really makes these eyeshadows stick so to move them you kind of need like a dense brush and this one is from Sigma Beauty, my favorite company that has very good brushes. And now I'm going to go back to that orange because I kind of lost it when I was blending the, that pinkish reddish shade. And I'm going to put it back up there. As you can see, you can see it a little bit above the reddish, pinkish, maroonish <laughs> shade that I have previously put. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And again, I'm using a Sigma brush. They are very good brushes. This is Marc Jacobs and this is uh, just a regular black eyeliner. And I'm going to use that under to, water, to do my lower lash line. This is kind of like my waterline. Marc Jacobs has very nice, smooth uh, eyeliner. Eyeliners, they don't tag at all. This is um, from Lancome, Monsieur Big, and this is their mascara. And I also like this. It doesn't clump up at all. Um, and it's the brush is kind of thin, so you can also use it for your lower eyelashes. Next, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Rose Primer that I got, um, I think, from BoxyCharm. I don't remember. Um, Boxycharm or Influence, I don't remember. So I'm going to put that all over my face as my primer. It's very nice, smells very nice, it's very light. Um, and then I'm going to take the Fazali Fine Skin Tube Blur Primer. Also, I normally use this on my forehead, my T-zone, because that's where I'm oily. And this tends to modify it. Next is a Milani Foundation and... And this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. If you have never used Milani, you need to try their products. Their eyeshadows are great. And this foundation just matched my skin tone perfectly. And it matched me completely. And this is LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I think this is in the shade Fawn. Yes. And this is as a highlighter shade. As usual, LA Girl, Pro, these concealers, they just made their name with this man. But their products are also pretty good. And I'm going to use this as my highlighter concealer. And this is a sponge from Beaky Blender. I'm sure you've seen this all over social media. They put me on their PR list and I'm very grateful. And I'm just blending away this concealer. And these uh, sponges blow up. They're so big. Once you wet them, they get to be so, so big. But they did a very good job. No streakiness very smooth application this is a Fenty Beauty nutmeg setting powder that I'm going to use to set that concealer 
and it smells wonderful. It smells so good. I forgot how nice this smells. And honestly, this tiny little tub can last you quite a bit. And I've had this for quite a while. And um, like I said, I'm trying to set I'm trying to set that concealer. And here I'm using a dry sponge uh, to put that there. And now I'm gonna just sweep that away with a brush again from Sigma. I really don't bake. I don't I just don't have time to bake. <laughs> so I just put a, the powder, set it up and kind of let it just sit there for a few minutes, not even baking at all. And I just sweep it away. Next is a Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Powder. And I'm gonna put this all over my face to kind of set everything. And again, this is from Sephora and I absolutely love this powder. It just makes everything so smooth. Um, you know, when you're applying and you're trying to set the entire look this does a pretty good job uh, next I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty this is a concealer and in espresso and that's the shade and again also this is very smooth on your face it doesn't tug at all because you know you have all that powder and all that um, it's pretty dark but I like it I like it I'm going to be using this brush from Sigma and you can see the number there Oh my God, I, I can't say enough about this company and their brushes. People say they're a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. I've had these brushes for like two years and they have not frayed, they're not scratchy. The price is worth it and always look out for their sales. And I think they just ran one uh, the other day. So always look out for Sigma brushes and the website. They have fantastic sales. Okay, and next I'm gonna take that shade again. Uh, using Andrea Rene Peach and Powell brush and I'm gonna smoke out that lower lash with uh, this shade again and I'm gonna I'm gonna try also and smoke out that black eyeliner that I had put previously and this is like a pencil brush and I'm grateful for Andrea she sent me that then this is another Cleopatra shade from Juvia's and I'm gonna use this Colourpop brush it's one of those flat brushes come on camera focus focus okay there we go I'm gonna use this as my what like a lower lash color <laughs> I don't know how to say that yeah I'm gonna put this on top of that pink reddish shade that I used and I just want the, the bottom part to pop a bit not just to be like a blur of the maroon and a black I just want to add like a pop of color and it's as you can see it's um the flat brush and it does a pretty good job next I'm gonna take this setting spray from Gerard cosmetic slay all day yes it smells wonderful it's peach it smells so so good you can spray this <laughs> all day they also run uh, some pretty good sales on their websites um, sometimes you have like five, the little ones, five for 25, pretty good deal. I'm going to put and stamp all that in again using the Bikki Blender sponge. Next, I'm going to take this highlighter from uh, Pat McGrath and I'm going to show you the name in a few minutes. It is beautiful. It's Pat McGrath. It's anti pat. She, you can never go wrong. And I'm gonna tell I, this. I've tried to apply this highlighter two ways. Like as you can see there, I tapped on the highlighter with a brush and not applied it directly, just to see how this is gonna come out. Because I don't really like a very bright highlighter. I like things to look more natural on my skin. And I realized, hmm, let me try actually applying it directly on my skin and the glow is yeah the glow is amazing amazing I mean <laughs> you can never go wrong with uh, Miss Pat McGrath and all her products yeah why not let's put some more I kind of went to town with this like I said I like it to look more natural more of a natural glow I I, I don't like a lot of highlighter and I did the same on the other side. Kind of went a little bit ham on that side, as you can see. But I think later on, um, I went in and I 
took care of it because I kind of went to town a little bit. I, I got too excited about that. But these brushes, again, this one is from Sigma, um, and this one did a fantastic job to try and blend everything in. Oh, yeah, I put some more. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this uh, Juvia's Place uh, Blush Volume 1, and I'm going to use um, this Sigma brush again and to, to put in, to mix those two shades as my blush. Again, I don't like too much blush. <laughs> And I kind of went a little bit um, lighter on this side. But as you'll see on the other side, I, I kind of went, um, I figured, okay, let me add some more. Uh, lo and behold, yeah, it was a lot. I ended up putting too much. I kind of, I'm nervous of using too much blush because I always think, you know, I'm going to look like a clown. So what I did, I just took back the brush that had my foundation. And as you can see here, I just parted it directly above I kind of like uh, subdued it and diffused it a little bit so it didn't look like it's too much blush and then I went back again and put it on just a little bit this time with a lighter hand and it came out way better than before okay next I'm gonna take oh I'm showing you the brush that's the brush I used and I love this brush my favorite for powder for foundation yeah I, I think I have like three or four of these brushes all righty next we uh what are we doing next oh yeah we're gonna take this highlighter this is from thrive cosmetics and I'm gonna use this uh in my corner eye and I'm gonna show you how it looks like it's like a nice pinkish look and I'm gonna use this also on my brow bone and I think I did add this on my inner corner later on on my um, on my inner corner eye I think I ended up using a brush for this because my I, I didn't want to use my fingers because my fingers were kind of getting in the way between my eyebrow eyebrow bone and my eyeshadow all righty next that's the brush I used it's a farm shader I, oh yeah, I went in and put, put in my eyelashes and again, yeah, this is where I put in the corner highlighter and those eyelashes are from Adele. I think they're from Adele Demi Wispies. I think that's what they were. Yeah, Adele has my favorite, favorite lashes. The lashes are comfortable. The band is comfortable. I mean, you can't go wrong. I'm going to take this Lily Richards. It is very comfortable, very nice matte liquid lipsticks. If you don't know her website, it's Lavish by Lily. It is beautiful. I mean, she has some very comfortable matte lipsticks. I don't know what she's put in them, but this is one of them. Um, and I really, really, really love this color. Um, and I thought it would go well with this look. I honestly thought the eyeshadow would come out a little bit darker almost to kind of match the lipstick but oh well this is what we got right now yeah I'm feeling it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah just trying to show you guys a little bit of my personality behind the camera <laughs> fixing my wig I'm gonna give you some slow jam <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, thank you.